Hey, hey, welcome to the second video of the Mediumship Mini Course. Very excited to have you here. We are on a roll, so let's continue. Um, so in the last video, I talked to you a little bit about what mediumship is and why we practice mediumship. So in this video, we're going to continue on that journey, and we're going to talk about some of the common signs from spirit. Um, and also some really common cues and feelings when spirit might be around. So spirit meaning your past loved one. We'll start there. So common signs that I often hear and have experienced myself are first off dreams. Dreams have been the window to another world for me. And I know for sure for many of my students and clients, they have been really interesting points of validation and confirmation and curiosity and um, this gate opener kind of, right? It's, it's this tool that opens you up to the possibility that, wait, maybe my loved one really is around. So several people, I mean, in my the course of my 10 year career here, I know that for myself, I've had many vivid dreams of a loved one who has passed or I've had these really vivid dreams that are intuitive, that can be premonitions or um, a feeling of something before it, it's about to happen. And so vivid dreams in mediumship means that your loved one in spirit has come to visit you. So it feels as if you've connected soul to soul with your loved one. You feel as if they, like you were literally there with them, communicating, having a chat, um, or you just felt them and you saw them, you felt their presence and it felt extremely real to you. Um, I know that for several people in my community and with my students and clients, that these types of dreams don't happen that often, um, but when they do, they, are can, they can be extremely transformative for the person, meaning that you really feel as if your loved one has, had visited you. You know, that it really landed and left this long lasting almost effect of comfort and peace and love knowing that this individual was with you. So they, um, there is a term for this called a visitation. Um, you can call it whatever you want. I think, you know, a visitation is, is just as fine as a very vivid dream or an experience that you had in your sleep. Um, whatever works for you, the term doesn't really matter so much is that you know that this experience was something that felt true to you, that felt real to you, and it was transformational for you in some and had an impact in, in your well-being and your life and, and left you with this long lasting impression of, wow, yeah, I really felt like my loved one came and, and visited me last night. So that's one sign. The second sign is reoccurring signs and symbols. So sometimes this is like messages or songs, um, smells, things like that, um, that kind of strike you out of the ordinary. Um, it could be the person's anniversary date or a passion of theirs and it caught you like maybe you got an invitation to something that you never you never really you never considered going to maybe your loved one was a big golf player and you randomly got this invite to go to some sort of golf event um and so it can be really like any kind of sign or symbol that just kind of strikes you out of the ordinary and um, the immediate first thought you have is of that person in spirit so um, I remember very clearly um, that there was a moment when I was washing the dishes in my apartment a couple of years ago, and I just felt my grandmother there. Like I instantly felt this person next to me, and it was just a feeling as if like, oh my God, my grandmother's here. Like, wow, that feels really nice. Like she just came to say hi to me. Um, and so that can, it can be something like that. It can be some sort of sign or symbol in your car or out when you're out walking, uh, or in a conversation that really just kind of strikes you in a very different, unique way than your average day experience and makes you feel as if like your loved one is communicating with you. So that's one way. Um, I mentioned smells. So sometimes people say that they feel as if they're smelled, they've smelled their loved one's perfume or their cologne or one of their, maybe they smoked or just their smell. They've, they, they can smell it sometimes. So that's often uh, a sign. Um, the next one is people. So there may have been someone who serendipitously like showed up in your life 
shortly after your loved one passed or right before your loved one passed who feels as if it, they were sent to be a good friend, um, maybe a future partner, um, a, you know, someone who's there to support you in some way in your life. So um, sometimes this to me feels as if it was somehow synchronistically lined up that this person showed up in your life at a time when you really needed it. And so the universe responded and your loved one somehow may have orchestrated it or influenced it. And collectively as energetic thought, you have now this person in your life that reminds you of your loved one or feels as if it was sent to you from your loved one. Um, and then the final one that I feel is really interesting is that there can sometimes be these gifts that manifest, right? So sometimes you might get a gift from a friend or, or somebody at work um, or just a feeling of a miracle that was sent your way. And your first thought may be that it was from your loved one in spirit. Um, I can give you a, gl a great example of this. Uh, recently, in my Airbnb experience here in Los Angeles, I did a, a group message circle and um, the lady that I was working with, I kept seeing her receiving yellow flowers on her birthday. It just so happened that she got yellow flowers from a friend on her birthday and her loved one in spirit said that those were from him. So fascinating how that confirmation comes through as like, hey, that gift, by the way, that you got recently was a gift from me, actually. So um, it's like they want to vouch for saying that that was also part of my thought process. And maybe they influenced that person to get you that gift for whatever reason. So um, something to think about is that, you know, the gifts that you get from people, does it feel as if it was a gift from them? Or maybe it was influenced by your loved one in spirit as a gift to you from them. Right. So moving on, um, common cues and feelings. Okay. So when your loved one is around, you may have these energetic feelings or thoughts or sensations that will come through in these different ways. So the first one is your body temperature. Um, I know that for me, it's happened quite a few times where I've felt spirit around and like my body temperature has changed drastically. Like I would feel maybe very hot or very cold. Um, my palms might feel very clammy. So these physical sensations can happen where you uh, have body tingles, your palms might feel sweaty or very clammy. Um, you might have like, like uh, racing of the heart a little bit or some sort of a feathery kind of touch around your head or, or shoulder. Um, and I don't feel like they're all self-manifested things like, oh, I, I think I, I think I felt them, but I'm not sure. Like, no, it feels to me that when you feel, when you feel it, you feel it. So um, the body temperature and these physical sensations are definitely some common cues to look for when you're connecting to spirit, especially when you get ready to do your visualization in the next video, um, you're gonna wanna keep this in mind. So notice how your body temperature is feeling. Notice if you're getting any physical sensations in your meditation, your visualization. Um, just notice, you know, what these little energetic shifts are, these physical shifts, right? So the next one is the emotional shift. So I've talked about the physical shift. The emotional shift is just as important. So when we're you know, doing our everyday life and we're going about our duties, we might have like a fairly neutral mood. We might be stressed out during certain tasks. We may be very calm at other points of the day. And then let's say we sit and meditate and we're like collecting ourselves from our day. And um, you're in this process of really like relaxing and clearing your mind or trying to at least. And, and you're connecting with spirit. That's your intention. So in the process, you may start to get these physical sensations or your body temperature possibly could change, or you may feel an emotional shift. So I know that sometimes when I do my visualizations with my clients, they'll tell me that they feel very emotional, very quickly. It could be your grief coming up. It could be that you miss them. Um, but sometimes too, what it feels like can be this sense of a graceful presence next to you. You could feel some sense of comfort. You could feel a real warm, loving feeling. You could feel the personality of that person starting to come through and you almost feel as if they're really like next to you or you feel their sense of humor or their strict and their strict kind of rigidness. So um, notice too, if you're starting to pick up on, on the sense of somebody there or an energetic feeling of a person beside you or with you in, in uh, your experience 
with a loved one nearby. So um, those are things to look for. So this wraps up our video on common signs and cues from spirit. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you found it to be really insightful in your journey. And I will see you in the next video where we talk about how to connect to spirit and where you'll have your bonus visualization to connect with your loved ones. Thanks for watching.